Hello and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and today we've got a 2018 Ford Cougar that's got a battery drain. So the vehicle came to us uh, on the back of a recovery truck with a flat battery so the first thing I'm going to do, they've told me it's a brand new battery, it's a make I've not seen before, um, I think it comes from a, a well known three letter parts supplier in this country. Uh, so I'm going to put the battery on charge for a few hours and um, do a battery drain test, shut the vehicle down, see what sort of drain we've got. So what my method is, I roll all the door locks, uh, simulate that the vehicle is completely locked up, but I've still got access to the vehicle. So what I've done, I've just bypassed the bonnet switch and I've rolled the catches on both front doors and also the tailgate. And what I've also done is just put some tape over the ultrasonic sensors for the alarm and a little bit of tape on the steering wheel just to remind me that we've got tape covering up the sensors because I have been known to send them out with the tape still on there. Then what we'll do, we'll lock the vehicle up and we'll see what drain we've got initially and we'll go back to it maybe 40 minutes time and see what we've got. So I've just locked the vehicle up and it's got an initial uh, current drain of just over 2 amps. So what we'll do, we'll go back to it in about 40 minutes time and see what drain we've got then. Okay, so 45 minutes has passed and we've still got a drain there of just over 2 amps. So we've got something quite meaty that's draining the system. So what we need to do now is do a fuse uh, drop, uh, sorry, a volt drop test on across all the fuses. So we've got a fuse box here um, with the case style fuses. What I have to do is we just flip the lids off. And we've got normal mini fuses. Got a couple of relays as well. And we've also got the body control module, which is under the glove box. And there's a fuse box in the rear as well. Okay, so what I do want to do now is do a volt drop test across the fuses. Uh, very good, difficult to do one-handed whilst holding the camera. But basically what I do, I put one side of the multimeter across the fuse on the metal pin there. And then the other side of the multimeter on the other pin. And what we do then, we measure the millivolts on the multimeter. Ideally, we should be seeing 0.00. .00. If I take it off, it'll go all over the place because uh, we're measuring fresh air. Uh, so 0.00 is a good value. Any, any readings on there will indicate a milliamp drain. So what we do, we go across every fuse in the fuse box, including the uh, J-case fuses, which I'll have to flip the lid off. Measure all those. So we've got this underbonnet fuse box here, and we've got the body control module, and we've also got the fuse box in the rear. And what I'll do, I'll not get, get too hung up on the values. I'll just write down each fuse that's got a drain on it and then proceed further from there. So here, just for demonstration purposes, we can see I'm across the fuse there and we're hovering between naught and one milliamp, sorry, one millivolt. So nothing really there for me to worry about, but it is still a bit of a reading. So what I've got to do, as mentioned before, go across every fuse now and take all the readings. Okay, so I've gone across every fuse. I uh, don't think you really needed to show me, uh, for me to show you doing that. And the only ones I can find any drains on are on the body control module. We've got fuse 69, 71, 73, 78, 79. Uh, where we've got instrument panel, HVAC unit, steering column control module and alarm horn, 
remote function access module, audio unit and the display screen. I've just had a quick look as well, see if there's any common denominators on there and they're all on the medium speed CAN network. So what I'm going to quickly do now is just have a quick look whilst the vehicle's uh, shut down, see if we've got any CAN activity on the, uh, on the vehicle. Uh, and just to prove as well that we've still got, let me just, there we go, if you can see that. 1.9 amp drain still going on. So let me get the scope rigged up or quickly go in with a multimeter and uh, see what we've got. So like I said, the vehicle is still uh, shut down. I've just quickly gone into pin six and 14, that's the high speed can. And we're showing, if you can see that, 61 ohms that's proving that the uh, network is shut down so if i now go into 3 and 11 which is medium speed can sorry if the screen's gone dark there can't avoid auto exposure so in 3 and 11 now and we're showing there 0 0.8 mega ohms so we've got some activity so if i keep in pin 3 and change that to four. If I change that then to a voltage, so we've got two volts there. I'm thinking that will be can low on the medium speed. That's in pin 11. If I change that to pin three, he says struggling to get it in. There you go. And that's 2.9. So I've got uh, the CAN network is still awake, so I need to now, let me think, probably start, I don't really like pulling fuses unfortunately, but uh, I think it might be the done thing before we start stripping modules and everything down. And let's see what we can find. So if I can find the fuses for each particular module and see if we've got, um, if I pull the fuse out, shut that module out the network and see if we've got a difference on the amp drain if that makes sense right so we're underneath the glove box now i've got the body control module loose and um the fuses this this row here which had most of the drains on them um although the one with the most drain was fuse 79 if i remember right this 15 amp one um, I've got a hunch, something I was told a long while ago uh, regarding door handles. Um, I'm going to pull out the fuse number five, that's for the remote function access module. That's what handles the central locking and um, door handles because this has got uh, key free entry. Uh, incidentally, the keys are three meters away at least, so they're not picking a signal up and keeping the vehicle awake. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pull this out, which I think will be difficult with a loose body control module. So I'll just have to put the phone down, hoping that the alarm doesn't go off, which it hasn't. So that's the fuse out. There's its little hole there. Let's go have a look now at the drain, see if that's made any difference. So by pulling that fuse out, um, I've got a drain there of around about, obviously it's floating because it's a inductive clamp. But as you can see there, anywhere between 40 milliamps and 70 milliamps. So let's just turn it off and on. Let's zero it. Put it back on the negative cable. And in all fairness, that's good enough for me. So what I need to do now is um, I'll wake the vehicle back up and we'll get some live data and check these door handles and I'll show you what I mean. Incidentally, I've just put the fuse back in, ready to um, get the vehicle back awake again. And as you can see, we've gone straight back up to 1.9 amps. Okay, so I've uh, woke the vehicle back up. I've connected the diag machine to it, run a system scan, and as you can see, we've got no fault codes in there. So what I'm gonna do now, just to hopefully prove a point, 
going to go to live data. Uh, I'll go to all because I've already pre-populated it. And press play. And as you can see there, left front handle lock is staying on. Left front handle unlock is off. Right front handle lock is on. And unlock is off. And just to prove a point, what I'll do, whilst you look at the live data, so that's me pressing the on button, and then as you can see, when I let go of it, it goes to off, but it immediately goes back to on again. And the unlock, if I put my hand on it, that's on, off, on, off. Let's move my thumb for you. On, off, on, off. And likewise, if I go round to the passenger side. So here we are at the passenger side, and if I press the on button, it immediately turns to off, but then goes to on again. And then unlock, on, off on off so it's looking like we've got a faulty uh, capacitive sensors in both the front door handles and what i'll do i'll prove it in a second by taking the door handles off unplugging them shutting the vehicle down and see if it shuts down properly okay so we've got both of the door handles off uh, that's the door handle with a capacitive sensor underneath my thumb there and the electrical connector so what we'll do now, we will lock the vehicle up. And looking at the connections on the handle itself, there's no signs of any corrosion or water ingress. And likewise, in the handle, uh, in the door itself, in the multi-plug. And that's the same on both sides. Um, so we've got the door locks rolled again, bonnet catches, um, bypassed tailgate lock is rolled as well door handles are off hopefully it will lock up so let's lock it so that's locked and confirmed mirrors have gone in as well and I will just take off the inductive clamp switch it on zero it put it back on the negative clamp and we're sat at oops sorry that we're sat at half an amp there, so that's a massive difference already. So what I'll do now, we'll leave it for half an hour and come back and see what it shuts down to. So we're about 40 minutes later, and as you can see there, um, again, it's an inductive clamp, so it will range a little bit, but we're shutting down there between 30 milliamps and around about 70 milliamps. If I was to take the battery out, which I've got a video showing how to do that, uh, not the easiest of jobs or the quickest of jobs, I can put the multimeter in series and get a true reading, but compared to the two amp drain we had before, I'm happy with that. And what we'll do now, we'll go and see if the CAN network has shut down, which I'm sure it has. And there we go, CAN network. I mean, three and 11, sorry, four and three, so that's a ground and one of the CAN medium speed wires and it shut down zero volts so two door handles needed so as always i like to verify my fix so it's the next day now i've got the both handles um connected the handle covers are being in the body shop at the moment being painted the vehicle is shut down and just to prove the fix There we go, we've shut down to round about, well, 30 milliamps, I would say maximum. So, thanks for watching.